Welcome back to Brian's Art of Creation. Bright and early Monday morning. Hope you guys are ready for this. So, what I wanted to jump on and talk to you guys about today is I just, some of you guys that are following me, I just did a creative intensive that I scheduled for myself. And here I just kind of wanted to share why I did it, the things I got out of it, and, you know, the good things, the bad things, and why I, basically why I went after it. So, Whenever you're trying to learn anything, a new skill, a new task, there's always a few different ways you can kind of go about it. The best way that I've learned or that I found out to learn is when you do those intensive sessions and you just go all in. So, for example, you know, when you go to class or you're in school and you go to class, you're doing a couple hours a day and you're doing it, you know, every day of the week or a couple times a week over the course of a few months. And yes, you learn and it takes time to kind of grasp different things and you're always constantly learning new things. But then compare how much you actually take in, how long it takes you to take all that information in compared to like when you went to a conference that was like a three, like a weekend conference or a convention or speaking um, or workshop or type of thing. The fact that you, you go all in and you go in all in all day there's just so much more information that you take in that you can take away from. And that's why I wanted to go in and, and I didn't necessarily have anything special scheduled or set up for this time. Like I want to learn portraits or I want to work on my likenesses or expression or anything like that. Um, I had expressions on the table and wanted to do a few of those, which I did to do some videos of my little heroes for you guys. But other than that, you know, it was basically, I've been, I've had a lot of stuff you know, going on with here, going on with trying to figure out business aspect and business side of things. And I haven't had full days of, I haven't had full days of creativity in a while. I've had my normal, my normal, you know, few hours or even occasionally day, but I just wanted to go all in for an entire weekend or three days. I did three days. And what I did was, the way I set it up was, I said Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I didn't change my work schedule or anything, I just went around that. So Thursdays I don't work, and I was able to still put in 10 hours of sculpting. Um, I could have went a little bit later at night, I just decided not to. But the amazing thing is how much, not only how much I was actually able to do and accomplish, but the fact that I was honestly wondering if I was going to get burnt out from from just constantly doing it. But the amazing thing is that I wasn't. What happened was I put in 10 hours. I still was able to, I still made time to hit the gym on Thursday. And I still had time to take breaks for lunch and for dinner and stuff like that. But even after 10 hours of sculpting, like I was just so pumped and still so excited to where I wasn't like worn out. And that's one of those amazing things to where if you're doing something that you love, it just really gets your energy up and gets your energy pumped. And it doesn't it doesn't wear you down. And that's another amazing thing that, you know, I hold on to for when I go to my for when I go to my job. Yes, I have to put up with it and I have to be there for seven, eight hours. But I after work, even if it's 11, 12 o'clock at night, I still have no problem coming home. And starting to work on some sculpting or some art stuff because of the fact that I'm just so excited about it and that I get so energized that even if I am drained or tired from work, just thinking about it gets me pumped up. So the amazing thing, like I was going back to that, was that I wasn't I wasn't burnt out like I thought I might have been any of the days. Even though, you know, I put that many hours into sculpting and creating stuff. And I did, and then I went on to Friday and Saturday where I worked at my restaurant job from 4 to 11. So I went in from 9 o'clock in the morning until about 3, went to work, and then came home and I did, Saturday I didn't do anything, but Friday I did about one or two hours after I got home. But I was still just so, so pumped and juiced, and I also had my whole day planned, so I knew exactly where I was going to do, what I was going to do, where I was going to go with it. And... Another thing that this really will help you to, to kind of understand is how you work, how much you're able to accomplish. When you go all in and you just focus, 
And for me, like we already learned, like I already told you guys, I do my 45 minute sessions and that, that forces me to focus. And also it isn't long enough to, um, to, to, to kind of trip the switch for my procrastination. So, you know, even if I was just sitting and not really ready, I kind of set the timer and I started and then it's just kind of puts me in the mode of, Hey, I got to get up and I got to get, I got to get doing this. But setting those 45 minute timers one after another, as I was working on stuff, I said, you know, I'm going to do, I did the head of spawn for about two sessions. I did two sessions on the body. And then I did, um, I told myself I was going to do one or two sessions on Zoe. And then the next day I went into Macy and did two sessions on her and then one on Zoe to kind of clean her up and see if I could get her back. Um, because it just wasn't capturing the likeness the way I wanted it to. But having everything set up that way, it force it forces you to focus and forces you to focus on one thing until you know you get it to a happy point or a completion point to where wherever that may be. So I also want to make sure that you guys understand that this wasn't for me. This wasn't made for me to rush or to just pump out as many pieces as I could. This was for me to focus on just getting creative and understanding myself and how I work and how long things take so that I could put a deadline to where I'm not I'm not wasting time by just drawing the details out or you know spending two hours on something that really only needs me to have in a half hour or something like that and these are all different things that you guys are kind of under, going to understand or learn for yourselves, depending on how you work and what you're working on. But, I mean, that's what this, that's that's why I created this, and that's why I went after it. And I plan to do another one um, within the next couple of weeks, because I want to do another one that's going to be a little more focused to where I just go all in on creating some videos for you guys, on, you know, doing some expressions and really just tackling that. And maybe even jumping into a few likenesses and getting better at that. Um, but I definitely think that it, it would be, if you guys want some more ideas or tips, just reach out. But I definitely think it would be a good idea for you guys to try to do it. Try to schedule some for yourself to where you just go all in and you just have fun with it. You know, don't worry about, you know, if you can do it on your day off, awesome. If you want to work it on a day that you're actually working, that's fine too. But just putting it on a calendar and saying, you know what, I'm going to go all in during these hours and I'm just going to have fun and get creative and I'm going to, I'm not going to let anything dictate what comes out. You know, I'm going to have my own ideas about what I might want to come out, but I'm not going to have any outside forces telling me what I have to create. I guess that's what I'm trying to say with that. So I learned a lot and I, I really think that you guys would learn a lot you'll learn a lot about how long things actually take you because you'll be surprised as where they really don't take as long as you might think especially if you put deadlines on yourself because one of the things that they say is that I don't know the I can't remember the exact the exact wording or quote but basically any task that you have will expand to the time you have allotted so if you have to get something done in a half hour, that's how long it'll take you. But if you allow yourself two hours to do it, it will stretch that entire amount of time. So with that coming into art, that will basically that basically means that if you start setting deadlines on yourself and you use, you know, the techniques that I've been showing you guys and even, you know, getting into this intensive session and saying, I'm gonna learn this and I'm gonna go after this. It's not saying that you're that you're rushing or forcing yourself to get something completed in a half hour or 45 minutes, but it's getting you to focus enough to where you get to a you get to a closer point faster, and you really learn about yourself and how you work, so that in the future you can start you can start putting deadlines on yourself and stricter deadlines on yourself, so that you can get you can get your work completed a lot faster and a lot quicker. And it's also going to teach you how to how to kind of finish your pieces because there's also another issue with artists to where they don't know how to call it done. 
And if you put a deadline on yourself, you'll know when it's done and you'll know when it needs to get completed by. You know, you won't be sitting there with a finished piece and then just keep adding details and details. You know, because honestly, if you really wanted to, any piece that you have, you could you could work on for the rest of your life. But you have to be able to set up a time to when you want to call it finished. So that's another thing this helps you with. But also learning, you know, how long things take, being able to manage your time, um, even learning how to schedule yourself. Everyone's different. I personally love when I know exactly what I need to do and what needs to get done. And, and that's how I set it up when I did this. So it was bam, 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 bam of what I needed to get completed. So hopefully that helps. I want to see you guys create something amazing, create a special time for yourself when you're just going to go out there. You're going to create. You're going to have fun. And you're not going to let anything else take you off course. So let me see what you got. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are working on, what you guys are planning to do. If you guys have any setbacks, any struggles that you're trying to overcome or achieve or just any breakthroughs you guys are having. That would be awesome too. All right. Thank you for watching and uh, catch me on the next one. I'll talk to you guys next week. Have an awesome week. Remember, it's just Monday, but um, it's going to start off amazing as long as you're excited, you're motivated, you're inspired, and you just take off. Talk to you guys next time.